Hey everyone, Double Art Angel here. Welcome to my channel. This is my eighth video in the tutorial series. And this one is gonna be about values. Now, I know that values are maybe a little boring and so on, but they make your artwork look more realistic. And photo manipulations are often seen from a professional perspective how light sources, shadows, and values are made in the artwork. So if the values are wrong, then the artwork won't look that good. Anyway, in this tutorial, we will make client work of mine where we put a twist on Ahsoka Tano, apprentice of Anakin Skywalker or Darth Vader. Already months ago, I got this client brief where they wanted me to make Ahsoka a Sith. So I gave her a little mercy and made her almost a Sith. So if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the thumbs up button, it helps out a lot. And also ring the bell for future videos. I try to make these videos so that at least one per week are coming out. Let's start with a time lapse of me making the artwork and then the actual lessons. But bear with me, I made this dramatic kind of logo intro for this artwork. So it's a little longer than the normal sting. Still, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's begin. You didn't even try to come and help me. You could have. So guys, now we have this ambitious fan poster of Ahsoka Tano. Anyway, this is a value tutorial and values in this picture will work a little different than normally because this picture is basically four parts. So it's this lower part, it's this part with Ahsoka and her army, it's Admiral Throne and this world between worlds symbol. And it's this background with the Chimera, aka Tron ship, and then I made a Venator. So, four parts. Background, Tron, Soka, and this lower uh, uh, scene that is out here. So what are values? Values are described as the part that of black or white in a color. So it's not darkness and light, it's not exposure, that's a different thing altogether. And we went through that in the lights and shadow tutorial and I will go through that even more in season two of these tutorials next year. But you can check the light and shadow tutorials in the card up here somewhere. Values are determined on light sources, how far away they are, how close they are. The further away something is, less black in, in the shadow value. And the closer to us, there's more black, so the value is gonna be more dark. And in the shadows, uh, the colors have uh, less white when they are further away from the light sources. Because we have space as a background, it will make the overall value pretty dark because space is nothing, right? It 
doesn't have any any light in it. A good way, simple way to check values. There's a couple of ways. So one way is making adjustment solid color, a black layer above everything else and change to hue in the layer adjustments or saturation, it does not matter. Now with this we can check black and white. Now let's check the values by using this adjustment color layer black and layer style as saturation. Lock it. We can now check out the values in this fan art poster. So let's start here in the bottom. So we want these uh, different elements to be right kind of black and white, right? We are gonna check with the eyedropper tool in, in the area that are shadows. Let's start by making sure that in values we want something that is further away, less black, more light, and uh, especially if it's closer to a light source. Now we have light source over here. I added the light source over here. So that means that we will have highlights on this side of the characters, which I made, and uh, the shadows are gonna be on the opposite side, right? And we want this part of this picture to be a little dark, and also here a little more dark, but we want this part to be lighter and the light part to be more luminant than Darth Vader and Ahsoka. So we'll start with this one. Take here for example. I'm gonna use it with the eyedropper tool and I'm gonna check here. Just pick the color and you see here and in here we have this color picker and you may notice these letters over here well RGB that's red green and blue usually people know those also the hex code is just the code for uh, the web color and uh, CMYK that's cyan magenta yellow and key and those are used for printing properties when you print on paper uh, RGB is then for web uh, but H S and B those are the ones that we are gonna check and the H is for you. The hue is not that important right now. S is for saturation and B is for brightness. Then we have also the lab values over here. L that stands for luminance how much it illuminates, how much lightness if you will. A channel and B channel. A channel is red and green colors, how much there's red or green in it. And B channel is blue and yellow, how much blue or how much yellow it is. So right now we have a very dark background with lightness of one and uh, brightness of two. That's far too dark. So. Now we can, what we can do is use these curves adjustment layers that we have over here and just bring down the black values to bring back a little more light. Yeah, so now we have lightness 4 and brightness 6. That we can work with. Next up is Darth Vader and uh, he's gonna be a little darker but not much. So just to keep this simple, we're gonna use a notepad. I'm gonna add this notepad over here. And L is four and B is six. Now when we go to Darth Vader, who is inside here. Here we have Darth Vader. And let's just take this one over here and check it. And what, what is his light? So his light is 2 and brightness is 4. Okay, so far so good because that means he has less luminance in and less brightness. So he's darker than the background. You know the power of the dark side. Now, last but not least, Ahsoka and that's this part over here. Now we're gonna check again and she is lightness 1 and brightness 2. So she is darker than Darth Vader and Darth Vader is darker than the background. So okay, this part of the picture is okay. So now when we take away this 
and check. We have a silhouette of Ahsoka in the in the foreground and Darth Vader and behind them the background. Now this is just because we have this light source that is quite strong that I made outside but is illuminating this part of the ship, the bridge or whatever. We could bring back just a hint because I think these values are good but they would be better if background is lightness about 3 and brightness 4. That's that's what I'm gonna aim for. So now the result of the lowest edge on, on this picture is this is dark but brighter this is even darker and this is darkest because it's closest to us and we make this silhouette of Ahsoka so we see that she actually is there okay so next up we're gonna check this middle part of the picture and its values and we do the same thing by adding the saturation layer go down to layer where Ahsoka is and we see here and now we have uh, the light source here in the in front of hers. That means that the values of the shadows should be darker further back because the light source is close to us. So these shadows over here, let's do this again. L and B. So the light is three and the brightness is four. Commander Cody or whoever this is. Light one, brightness one. That's too dark. How about this other guy? It's probably totally black, yeah. He's fully black. Zero and zero. That's also too dark. What about the guys in the back? So they have a lightness of one and brightness of two. So these values are all over the place. Ahsoka is good because she is she has light and brightness so next thing we're gonna do is add lightness and luminance and brightness to these dudes that are right and behind her so let's add the levels layer and give more lightness from the output level two and three so let's do it like this two and three so he's darker, but still lighter than the ones behind. Next up, him, and he's far too dark. So when holding shift and pressing the up arrow or down arrow, you go 10 uh, levels up or down instead of one at a time. Now he's at two and three, so that's the same. And they are one and two, so now this should be the right amount of grays in the shadows and when you make the shadows you get the highlights as well so now we have these guys behind her are darker and she is the most bright so now it looks better uh, next up the following guy we have this grand admiral drawn and we're gonna check his as one object in the picture. And how we do this is simply by checking the values of the shadows being the same. So we have a shadow over here and the value is, like we can see, lightness eight and brightness nine. And then we have this over here, two and two. What I'm gonna do now is adding more shadow to this picture. We do that also with this levels layer, just because it's more easy. But now we're gonna take away from this one. Now, I'm gonna try to make the dark parts first by getting this one same value as this one, or at least close enough. So it needs to have more light, so let's add a little light to it. Then we have this problem over here, his face, and <laughs> who's scruffy looking? We need a new le new levels, and we're gonna 
we're gonna bring up so that we have it closer to the other ones. So let's check what this one is now. Lightness is now 5 and 7. That's not quite yet. Let's add a little. 8 and 9. Now that's perfect. Let's unmask this and bring back the mask just here where the dark parts were. In a natural way, of course. And let's see how he looks. Yeah, that's more balanced. So, in the last part of this tutorial in how values or how I work with values, we want to check this background picture of the of Ahsoka's Venator that I made for her and Grand Admiral Tron's Chimera Starship Destroyer. What we want is this shadow over here and this shadow over here to be about same value. So how we're gonna do that is the exact same way. Now I'm gonna still make camera raw filter on this picture to enhance it. So that's the end of the value tutorial. I hope this helped you. I know this piece is quite difficult because it's not just one art. It's a poster with different kind of situations. Still, I hope that this value tutorial helped you out and uh, this is the way I do it. And yeah, I will finish this one off in a quick time lapse. And I'm Double Art Angel. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.